Well, I go back to the condominium industry in Toronto, the way that properties are marketed and sold. And if I could draw a parallel, I would say look at professional sports, where you have a collective bargaining agreement between the players and the owners. Now every five, six, seven years, provided there's usually a strike or some sort of labor dispute, you need to readdress and rewrite this agreement. The reason being is that over time, the general managers, the player agents, they find loopholes in the agreement. They find ways to weasel out of rules as they were intended. Now the Condominium Act was written in 1997, which means it was probably drafted shortly before then. You don't think in 20 years, developers have figured out how to get out of anything and everything that they don't want to do? It needs to be rewritten from the beginning, not readdressed, not looked over, but completely rewritten. Now, I also think there needs to be more transparency in real estate, specifically with how to deal with multiple offers. The public has become very frustrated, and I think agents like myself and all kinds of folks out there are frustrated as well. There is no one identifiable set of rules and regulations, no one procedure for how to deal with multiple offers, and it really makes it a complete and utter free-for-all. Now lastly, I think the public is clamoring for more access to information. I think on a go-forward basis, we realtors should consider ourselves not as the gatekeepers of information, but rather the interpreters. Put more information on the internet, empower the consumer, let them make an educated and informed decision, and allow us to guide them through the process.